As the earth warms and the icy regions once regarded as permafrost begin to melt, long buried secrets lost to time are starting to reveal themselves in the form of artifacts, extinct animals, human remains and even settlements and villages. Today we're going to take a look at some of the more interesting things to have come out the permafrost and then at the end we're going to do something a little bit different and look at some of the dangers that may be lurking beneath the icy ground. So in no particular order and bearing in mind that these aren't purely archaeological, here's my top 5 list of the most interesting frozen discoveries. Number one is Zur, an incredibly well-preserved 57,000-year-old wolf puppy that was discovered by miners in Canada's Yukon Territory as they were blasting away frozen mud with a hydraulic water cannon in 2016. Unfortunately, Zur was only seven weeks old when she died, likely the victim of a den collapse, and although she was horrifically buried alive, this is what led to her incredible preservation. Number two is the discovery of 800 artifacts in Norway's Lendbreen Pass. Now, the team found animal remains, horseshoes, wooden pegs, knives, shoes, mittens, staffs, cans, hunting hides, and a whole host of incredible artifacts that date to between 300 and 1500 CE that were previously buried in the ice. This is an incredible site, and I'll probably come back and do a whole video on this, but for now, this is just amazing. Number three is a bit of a mystery. Now, this Viking sword was discovered 1600 meters or 5,250 feet above sea level on a mountain slope in Norway. There's actually nothing around this sword. There's no burial, there's no hilt, there's no forest or rivers, there's no camp, there's no hunting grounds, absolutely nothing. And because of this, archaeologists think it belonged to somebody who got seriously lost and probably died out here, but we'll never know. Number four is the discovery of two 1.5 million year old Arctic hyena teeth. Now, I like this one because when you think hyenas, you're definitely not thinking about a frozen riverbed in the Yukon where these were found. Now, this is an incredibly rare find since they went extinct 780,000 years ago, and we really don't know too much about these guys, so more finds of this is excellent news. Last but not least for today is this walking stick. Now, this was also discovered in Norway's Lendbreen Pass, and it has runes inscribed on it that read, Owned by Joa. I believe it's pronounced Joa, J-O-A-R. I'm not 100% sure, but I just absolutely love this one because it just reminds me of when I was a kid and I got all new stationery like pencils and stuff and I would just quickly write my name on it so nobody stole it. And I love that there's like this very human and similar connection with this person who lost their stick with their name on it in the same way that I lost a million pencils with my name on it as a kid. It just really humanizes these finds and these are the kinds of things I love. But it's not all fun and games when it comes to melting permafrost and archaeological discoveries. In 2021, researchers discovered 15,000-year-old genetic material that contained evidence of 28 previously unknown viruses from ice samples in the Tibetan Plateau in China. In 2014, scientists in France successfully reanimated and made infectious once more a 30,000-year-old virus taken from the Siberian permafrost. In 2016, an outbreak of anthrax in Siberia killed more than 2,300 deer, hospitalized a dozen people and took the life of a young boy. This all resulted because a deer infected with the bacteria, previously frozen, thawed out due to the heating of the planet. While it's unlikely that melting ice will present any real danger of a global pandemic, it does add another thing to be mindful of as our planet heats up and the world around us begins to change forever. If you enjoyed this content, please consider hitting subscribe. It also would mean a lot if you could like the video and leave a comment. It boosts it in the algorithm and really helps these smaller channels get off the ground. I would really appreciate that. So until next time, my name is Zane and I'll see you then.